Getting comfortable with the basic formulas in Excel is essential for any beginner who wants to become proficient at using the software. For many jobs, Microsoft Excel is viewed as the industry standard tool for data analysis and is preferred by countless businesses. In this video, I will offer insight into how to use some of the essential Excel functions to advance your knowledge and improve your skill set. Basic Terms in Excel Firstly, it is worth pointing out that there are two ways you can perform calculations in Microsoft Excel. Formulas In Excel, a formula can be defined as an expression that works on values in a cell or range of cells. Functions Functions, on the other hand, are predefined formulas within Excel. They take out all the time you would spend inputting formulas. There are five time-saving ways to insert data in Excel. 1. Simple insertion, typing a formula inside the cell. Entering a formula into a cell or formula bar is the simplest and easiest way to insert a basic Excel formula. This process begins with an equal sign, then the name of your chosen function. One of the benefits of working in Excel is that once you begin typing the name of your chosen function, a pop-up function hint will appear. 2. Using Insert Function option from Formulas tab. However, if you prefer complete control over your function insertion, the Excel Insert Function dialog box might be better for your needs. Click on the Formulas tab and select Insert Function. A dialog box containing any function you could need to execute your analysis will appear. 3. Selecting a formula from one of the groups in the Formula tab. For any user that wants to get to their favorite functions quickly, the group within the Formula tab is a handy option. Click on the Formulas tab and choose your preferred group. This action will show a submenu full of functions to pick from. 4. Using AutoSum option. For simple everyday tasks, the AutoSum function is fantastic. Head to the Formulas tab and select the AutoSum option. Then select the caret to show other hidden formulas. You can also get to this option via the Home tab. 5. Quick Insert – Use Recently Used Tabs If you notice that you use a particular formula often and retyping it each time is taking a lot of time, then you can use the Recently Used option. Select the third menu option from the Formulas tab, located next to AutoSum. Now that you understand how to insert formulas and functions correctly, let's look at some of the basic Excel formulas and functions you can use to improve your spreadsheet. Here are the basic Microsoft Excel formula. Sum Firstly, the sum function is the most important formula to learn in Excel. This function aggregates values from chosen columns or rows. Here is the syntax. Let's make an example. Here, I'm going to show you how to get the total population of all the country in the data provided. Press equal sign on your keyboard, type sum, then you can press tab key or press shift 9 on your keyboard to make an open parenthesis. After that, go to your cell that contains the data. Since my data is under B column, then I'll just drag my mouse to B2 then hold left click and drag all the way to B11, then press shift 0 to make a close parenthesis. That's it. Next. Average. The average function allows you to find the average number in a list of data. It might be in the same cell as you estimated it to be, but to be sure, an average function is an excellent tool. Here is the syntax. Same drill with the sum function, just type equal sign then type average and press shift 9 on your keyboard to make an open parenthesis, then click B2 column and drag to B11, then press shift 0 to make a close parenthesis. Next. Count. The count function allows you to count all the values in a range of cells containing numeric values. Here is the syntax. Count function only numerical values. See, it didn't count the text. Next. Counta. Like the count function we discussed, counta counts only the cells in a chosen range. However, this function counts all cells, no matter their type. The count function only counts numerical values, but counta also counts times, dates, logical values, text, errors, and strings, which is why it is not the same formula. Here is the syntax. Next. If. The if function tends to sort data according to a given logic. 
One of the benefits of using the IF formula in Excel is that you can embed other formulas within it. Here is the syntax. So, let's have an example. For this one, let's use IF function to compare the population of 2022 and 2023 if it increases or decreases. If B2 is greater than C2, then if true meaning the population increase, while if it false, then the population decrease. So, that's the result. Hover your mouse at the right edge cell of D2, if you see cross sign, then double click to copy the function all the way down to the last data. So, that's the result. Trim. Finally, the trim function is perfect for ensuring any Excel function you implement does not return errors because of extra spaces in the data. It allows you to eliminate all of the empty spaces. Other Microsoft Excel functions can operate across multiple cells, but trim can only work in one cell. Therefore, it can be frustrating to use in some instances. Here is the syntax. So, I'll show you how to do it. Let's have this example. I put spaces between words. After I use trim function, only one space remaining between each word. Now you know the basic formula in Excel. Visit www.simplesheets.co slash blog to know more about Microsoft Excel. Thanks for tuning in. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and let us know what you think in the comments below. And if you want to see more videos like this, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss an upload. Until next time, take care.